Hey everybody, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studios and today we're going to be going over the importance of levels. Now, levels are really kind of confusing, uh, the confusing aspect of open tunes because no other software really, really has them. But today I'm going to show you guys why exactly they're here. So um, let's say I had a uh, an animation, right? Um, and I wanted to, let's say this is just our basic animation, right? Um, let me guess you get, uh, yeah, it's just going a little bit slow. So let's do that. Um, I wouldn't recommend having your uh, smallest at one because it sort of makes it to get like sort of like a when you go far away, it's sort of like a measuring liney. So let's say this is our animation, right? Stick man, you know, just doing his thing. Yeah, he's doing his thing. So right there is his thing. Okay. So it's Stick man doing his thing, but you want to add snow over this now. But the thing is that you've had a you sort of are, your layout's very confusing. You have a bunch of these like layers everywhere like for different things. And you don't want to add like another um, confusing like naming layer. So basically what you can do then is you can pre-prepare a layer and save it as a level. So what you will do is uh, uh, save this as an animation, right? And you'll have that. But then you open open it again and have a blank slate to work on. So let's say we wanted to add um, snow right then you would create this like snow we will have a bunch of like uh, snow pellets falling and all that stuff like uh, something like this like that and then go to the next frame and do the same thing it's a bunch of snow and um, so we're, we're making a bunch of snow right all the snows falling and everything and then we'll go to the next frame and we'll do the same thing sort of just like ovals of showing the speed of the snow falling very hard snow. The stick man doing his thing shouldn't be thing. It should be thinking somewhere else. So it's just like it's really really hard. Uh, where's my mouse? Okay, really really hard snow. And it's like it's like super fast and everything. <laughs> uh, maybe I should slow it down just a little bit, just for sake of uh, you know, just a little bit of realism. So let's go. Let's go shorter better. So you have all the snow falling right, but then you don't want to add it to your main animation. So what you would do is that you go to this level right and then you would go to file and save level so it automatically does save your levels and this level is actually called um, actually no not the name of it but if you delete this right and then you do create new levels what I meant to do um, you would drag this over here and you would name it snow right snow and then you would make whatever kind of level you want um, you do okay or apply it. I'm just, I'm just gonna do okay. So now we have snow. It's level. And then if we do the same, you know, snow thing, let me just do this really quickly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, pretty much the same premise. Yeah. Like that, like that, like that. Here we go. And by the way, to, to drag your frames up, guys, just click the whole, click the side right here with this bar. And if you want to select this, and then you click, yeah, to move to move frames, just to show you guys how to maneuver through the software a little bit easier. So um, I'll move frame to threes this time. So if we do that, then we have this whole snow level, right? And then we can save this level called snow. And then when we need it in another animation, we can use it. So save level, right? And I'm going to open a new scene. Rep. I'm gonna open a new scene. I'll uh, save the levels though. Okay, so save scene. No, save. Uh, no, just new scene. Discard this one. Okay. And then, if I have my stick man, like this. Yep, doing his thing. All right. And if you have a stick man doing his thing, then you can go to file. Uh, load level. Oh, here we go. So you scroll down to where snow right here, snow. And I don't know if it's TLV or TP TPL. Um, we'll try we'll try TLV first. Load. And there we go. You have a, you have the whole snow thing on another layer, and your stickman can do his thing to some snow, which is actually very cool because I don't know any other software that does it like this. So basically, you have the snow thing going on while your stickman is doing his thing. So that's basically what levels are for us. So you can pre-prepare your um, 
effects and extra things around it so you guys don't have to do it directly in the, in the animation and make it all cluttered and I'll have a bunch of frames that are just like uh you don't know what, what they're for so yeah you can pre pre prepare yourself so you can sort of like prepare effects with a blank slate you don't have to think about so many parameters that you have in the animation which is pretty pretty cool so thank you guys so much for watching today um I want to make these tutorials daily but if I don't get it to a daily I'll definitely try to cover some things the next day so thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace Thank <laughs> you.